unrealistic goals, unrealistic goals, oh my days. I can't stress this thing enough, okay? Most traders come into the market because of what they've heard from other traders. Now, this industry sometimes, not sometimes, most times it can be full of shit because I see a lot of people trying to portray a lifestyle that they don't actually live, okay? They're just trying to, you know, paint this picture that, oh, trading is this thing that you can just start trading today and then before you know it is, you're making, you know, 500, 100, 500K, 100K, whatever, whatever it is, dream that they have sold you. I mean, I mean, the person who introduced me to this market, I saw him, he was driving this really nice car. And I said to him, what do you do for a living? Like, oh, I'm an FX trader. This guy wasn't even an FX trader. He was a, he used to trade binary options, some rubbish. Imagine binary options, that crap. And then I was like, oh man, this guy's doing pretty well for himself, okay? And then I stumbled on this movie, um, Wall Street Money Never Sleeps. And I was watching uh, Shia LaBeouf, that's his name, I think, yeah? And he had this really nice condo in New York. He was driving a BMW. He just got a bonus from Keller Zabel. That was the name of his investment firm. For, for those of you, um, uh, trading fanatics, you probably watched the movie. He was working for a firm called Keller Sable, and his the MD, the managing director, the CEO of the company, had just cut him a check of excuse me of 1.2 million US dollars. That was his bonus for the year. I was like, shit, traders make a whole lot of money. I need to, you know, I need to start trading ASAP. In fact, FX wasn't even the first thing I wanted to start trading was stocks because I saw um, Shia LaBeouf trading stocks in the movie, so I was really on it. But for some strange reason, I just couldn't get myself to open a stock trading account. And then somebody now told me, oh, there's a way FX trading is also good, it's also trading, same principles and all that, okay? So I came into the market, same as the law of you guys, with unrealistic expectations and goals, okay? You come in and you want to live the trader lifestyle. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty much, you know, it's, it's, it's a cycle whereby you come in because you saw what the guy was doing, okay, he's really flashy cars, you can see I put a really nice private jet and Ferrari there, and then the next thing you start thinking that, oh, I can make this fortune as, as well, and then for some strange reason, people make you believe that you can take something as little as 500 pounds and make, I don't know, 50k with it, that's absolutely impossible, okay? So this leads you to making a series of series of unrealistic expectations, okay? Like I said, the example taking $1,000 to $10,000 in one month is a th typical thought process of a new trader, okay? What actually happens in the real sense is that they over leverage, okay? You over leverage those trades because it is literally almost impossible for you to use proper risk management and take $1,000 to $10,000 in one trading month. It is realistically impossible, okay? Especially if you're a new trader. Take it from me, okay? So what actually happens in the real sense is that you over leverage, over trade, and eventually your $1,000 is gone. That's the truth, okay? So if you're listening to this today, you wanted, to, you wanted to get into this market because of probably what you've seen from other people, uh, probably what you've even seen on uh, my social media. You have to remember that I have been trading this market for eight years. It took me a while to get here. I'm not trying to say it's going to take you eight years to achieve success. It took me eight years to get here because I didn't have any mentor, anybody to guide me, any coach and all that. Until I got to the UK and I was able to get um, in, in contact with a couple of uh, investment, investment um, some traders who work for an investment firm who actually showed me the ropes. Okay, that's why it took me this long. But, you know, it's literally impossible for you to come into this market and want to make money right off the bat. You need to take a course. Okay? I'm not saying this because we have a course. Yes, we do have a course which is quite affordable. But if you don't take the course, you're doing yourself a great injustice because you're going to fall for all these traps, okay? It's impossible for you to take one grand to ten grand. Literally impossible, okay? So, you know, like what I was saying, if you're looking at what's happening on my Instagram, yes, you can achieve that. You can achieve that, but you're not going to achieve that in a month. Actually, you're going to achieve that, but you can't achieve that in one month. It's not possible, okay? It's not possible. I've... I've looked at this market for years and years, my eyes. 
literally I'll sleep over my desk like this. <laughs> I'll literally sleep over my desk because I was looking at charts, okay? But yeah, unrealistic goals, one of the biggest killers of uh, traders, and you need to factor this into your trader psychology. Kick it out the window, kick it out the door, all right? Uh, the next on my list is opening multiple positions. Yes, opening multiple positions. <laughs> I used to be, I used to do this a lot, especially once I got the hang of technical analysis. Mate, I was a very, I'm telling you, once I, I finally met my mentor in London, yeah, so this, this really good, um, FX trader who used to trade for a hedge fund and investment investment firm. Okay, the guy taught me how to use uh, trend line support resistance, Fibonacci, and so on and so forth. All the stuff that I talk about uh, with, on my analysis, on my weekly analysis that I drop here and on the course as well. So once I was able to learn all that stuff that he taught me really well, you know, every chart I opened, I always had, you know, I was able to analyze, I was able to analyze it and. Uh, for the fact that I was able to analyze it, I was now able to see a whole lot of trading opportunities that I wasn't able to see on a on a normal day. Okay, so I saw these all, all these really cool trading opportunities. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take all of them. I mean, if I can make 10% of this one, all I need to do is take 10 take 10 trades and I flip my account. Okay, and it made sense to me because I was still keeping my risk management intact. Okay. I was still keeping my risk management intact. Listen to this. I was keeping my risk management intact because I was willing to risk just three percent and make ten percent of my account. Risk three percent to make ten percent. Make perfect sense, okay? However, I could I could I could make that process a lot faster if I did that uh, if I did that ten times in a row, okay? That was the plan. But somewhere along the line, I see I see so many trade opportunities. Open the screen. Click 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 click. There was literally the time I had fifteen open positions okay 15 open positions so i'll tell you how that went you know the outcome of that towards the end of, of, of this slide anyways so traders easily get carried away with the number of instruments at their disposal now guys there are over 25 financial instruments you can trade at any given time from your fx broker okay it's very easy for you to get carried away okay you can achieve occasional success from this however it is not sustainable why because each, let me see this guy. See how stressed he looks. This guy looks so freaking stressed. Can you see how many screens he's got? You don't want this to be. This guy's blood pressure is probably pumped going through the roof. Okay, because each trade requires undivided attention. Okay, each trade requires its on the like. Is can you drive two cars at the same time? No, you fucking cannot drive two cars at the same time. So. Why are you trying to have more than two, three, four trades open at the same time? Okay, it doesn't guarantee more profit, okay? Guys, remember this is still on the trader psychology. These are myths that you need to get out of your head. Opening multiple positions. Opening multiple positions does not guarantee profit. It actually reduces your ability to give undivided attention to each and every trade, okay? Now, when the market starts to retrace, when the market starts to retrace, it becomes very tasking to efficiently manage more than three trades at the same time. Good. Tell you a little story. Now, I was managing this account for a client and I had over 15 trades open. So I popped into a, a class. Now, this is even after I had become a really good trader, just to tell you that even the pro traders are guilty of this, okay? So I had all these trades open. I was probably off. 18,000 pounds, okay, 18,000 18, pounds, like, I was going to take the account to 24, 30k if those trades had continued the way I wanted them to go, so I left my computer, and I went in for a meeting, so I was having a coaching session, okay, I went in for a meeting to teach a couple of traders how to, you know, trade and stuff, I do a couple of analysis, and by the time I got to the meeting, and right before my meeting, um, right before my meeting, this, uh, what's her name, Janet Yellen, she was the Fed chairman of the, uh, uh, she was, she's the Fed chairman, I don't know if she's still the Fed chairman now, but, you know, she was due to speak, but I completely forgot she was due to speak at the time, so, you know, I had all these positions open, I was plus 18 grand, I was feeling so cool. Guys, you wouldn't believe, when I was coaching this class, just imagine you're coaching a class, you're up 18 grand. And right before your eyes on the big screen that you're coaching this card, you know, you just, you, just, you log on to your trading platform, and now you're, char you're charting the software, you put it on the screen, and then right before your eyes, you're seeing the market crash. 
he was tanking. Now, guys, I had 18 positions open. 18 or 15. I had so many, I can't remember how many, but I had so many positions open. Guys, I just tried, like, I tried not to look. They could tell like it was, I was distracted, but they didn't know exactly know what I was going on. And yeah, so I was like, oh my days, this can't be happening. So I closed it, opened it again, and then the market just kept on bleeding. This market was, when I mean bleeding, it reversed so hard, mate. You know what happened? So then, give me a moment, I'll be back. I dashed to my desk, tried to salvage as many as I could, but guys, when I was scrolling through this trade, I forgot where, what stop loss was, where, what, what I wanted to do with one trade. Bottom line was that I was unable to efficiently manage those trades. Okay, so I was literally up, I went, I was up 18 grand. By the time that day was over, by the time Johnny Yellow was done speaking, I was down minus three grand. It's not a big loss, but for going from that means I lost 21k literally. 21 grand in one day. I was up 18k by the time the whole thing does clear. And that was because I was quick. I was just, excuse me, sorry about that. That was because I was quick. I was just closing that position. If I didn't do that, I would have probably fired my account that day. You can imagine. So opening multiple positions is quite dangerous because you, it's impossible for you to... I will usually, I, ideally, I would advise that you keep only three positions open at, at a time, especially if you're not a professional in this market, okay? Because your brain is, is, is not a computer, okay? Your brain is not an algo. Don't be greedy, guys. Do not be greedy. Three positions at every given time is fine. You can efficiently manage this, okay? All right, guys. Now, thanks for watching that video. Um, for those of you who stayed till the end, it means absolutely the world to me. I hope I've been able to impact you guys with enough value for today. Now, you, 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 you know, you basically get a, a clear picture of why a lot of traders tend not to be successful in this market. They're just little things that are just playing up in their head as to why they're unable to, you know, consistently make money in this market. I hope I've been able to connect some of those dots that are missing been able to paint a better picture for you guys. For all the upcoming traders out there who are DMing me, messaging me, kudos to you guys. Kudos to you guys who want to take your life to the next level. You know, and I'm, I'm, it really excites me to see a whole lot of very young traders. Now, for those of you who want to contact me, I'm going to leave uh, my Instagram handle um, in the description of this video. And obviously, for those of you who already know, my Instagram handle is at I am at I am underscore dapo. Hit me your follow, drop me your follow, DM me, tell me, yo, this is the challenge that I'm going. Book a phone call with me, I'll get on the phone to you. You know, everybody has access to me. All right, guys, that's it for uh, this video on trading psychology. Please don't forget to like and comment. If you really like, if this video really ha helped you, please like and comment. That's how I'm able to grow this channel. All right, guys. Oh, this. I need to get my subs up. Yeah, what I mean, I need to get my subs up. I need to get my subs up, guys. Catch you later. Bye.